Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this intro in After Effects uh, using the Saber plugin, which I did a tutorial on before. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, I show like how to install it and some of the customization and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. But let's just get right into this intro. Um, I'm going to probably be making a more complex one then later on uh, that maybe inquire it, that uses uh, Cinema 4D. So uh, stay tuned for that. And at 100 likes, I'll put this intro file in the description for you guys to download. But let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project real quick. And here we go. So this is what uh, you should have up. And the first thing we want to do is create a new composition and I'm going to call it angle one and I'm doing 1920 by 1080 like about 30 frames and 10 seconds long uh, you can do whatever you want um, click OK and then let's get our text actually let's go layer new text and type in whatever you're gonna be using as text so I'm just gonna type in intro and I'm gonna bring that down sort of center it and increase the size a bit even though it doesn't much matter and that anchor point is at the bottom right now so I'm just gonna go to the anchor point tool and bring it towards the center and cool there we go there's our text now uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just set up our other three angles a while so I'm gonna copy this text layer and go to composition new call this angle 2 same settings okay composition new and then angle three and I'm just gonna copy or I'm gonna paste the text in there and into the angle two and then we'll start working with angle one so let's go ahead and then create a new solid layer and this is where the effects gonna be so it's just gonna be a black solid I'm not gonna bother renaming it and go to effect video copilot saber and then let's go to customized core uh, where it says Saber we want to go to text layer and where it says text layer we want to go to intro and there we go it's now outlining our text obviously the preset here is a little ugly for text so let's go to the preset and I'm gonna select arc reactor you can create your own uh, like I show you in the past tutorial and uh, or you could just pick a uh, different preset I like the arc reactor personally so that's what I'm gonna roll with um, and now let's set up our first angle. So if you recall, I kind of had it zoomed in on the front part of the text and had it uh, kind of cl like closing. So we're going to do that. But to do that, we want to select the text layer. I'm going to zoom out a bit and then increase the size of this. Maybe not that big. About the size, the height of the document. And then I'm going to add a bit of rotation. So I'm going to grab the rotation tool, rotate it slightly and then bring it over like so. Then I want to go back to the black solid layer and go again to customize core, but this time we want to go to offset. And I'm going to click the stopwatch uh, right at the beginning here of the timeline and set that to 100%. I'm going to go forward to about six seconds and drop it down to zero. Uh, I'm going to go into that layer effects saber customize core select both those keyframes right click keyframe assist and easy ease and then i'm going to go right here where it says graph editor click on that i'm going to click the end point and bring that anchor in a little bit and uh, i would preview this for you but it basically just comes together and then sort of speeds up and then slows down so that's basically what I was going for. And then we want to go ahead and do that same thing, but do it to the end of the text on angle two. So if we select the black solid, copy that, go to angle two, paste it, um, and then go into text layer and select the text again. Um, hopefully that will show up, and it does. Uh, now we just have to change the position of our text so I'm just gonna go to the end so we can see it I'm gonna zoom out here 
go to intro. Let's again bring up the size of the text, about the size of the document. Go to the rotation tool, we'll rotate it the other way slightly, and then bring it over like that. And then we have the same thing happening. And maybe position that a little differently. I like that a little more. So boom, there we go. Pretty simple, but still looks good and it's real quick to do. Now we can set up angle three. So <clears throat> we can actually copy and paste the solid again. So let's just go ahead and paste it and grab the text. And again, it'll just be something like this. But now we actually want to play with the intro a little bit. So I want to have it kind of zoom in on this text. So start big and come together. So I'm going to go into the intro, transform, scale, and let's go to about maybe closer to five seconds and click the, um, <clears throat> click the stopwatch wherever you want the text to end. So I think this is a pretty good spot. I'm actually going to move it slightly over because I don't think it's in the center. That's good enough. And then let's go to the beginning here and then bump up the scale until it's just so these anchors here on the side are just slightly off the picture and maybe a little more. And actually now I'll center it a little bit. There we go. So if I drag through this real quick, you can see it's coming together and forming the text. And I actually want to go to the beginning here and make that uh, text start going a little sooner. So I'm going to go to the black solid layer and at start offset at the beginning where it says 100, I'm going to decrease it a little bit to about 80. So that'll start it going a little sooner and then it finishes like right there and boom, that's exactly what we want. Now if you recall the intro I showed you, um, it changed color as it was going down from like right here, kind of flipped through a bunch of colors. And to do that, we're going to duplicate this uh, solid as many times as uh, like we want color change. So I want it to change between four colors. So it's going to go to a color, to a color, to a color, to a color, and then back to the original. So that's five layers. So I'm going to copy and paste it once, twice, three, four, five. Sweet. And now I'm going to go on to each one of these layers and you have to manually select the text layer. And for whatever reason, you can't just select them all and then select it. It doesn't work. So just go through individually and do that real quick. Cool. And now I'm going to start. Uh, actually, I'll go and select the color. So let's go to the second one. Glow color. And I'm just going to move down the scale. So I'll go green. We'll go yellowish orange and then we're gonna go to a red and then a pinkish purple and then keep the original one at the top and then we'll select every solid except the original one and let's find where we want to start changing color so maybe about right there I think would be a good spot so let's drag all these points over to there. And then we just want to leave the first one alone and then select the others and start moving them back and creating like a staircase look on the layers here that are red. So something like this. This might be a little too quick. I might I should have maybe spaced them out a little more. Where does it finish out? Yeah, I probably should have. Um but I'm just going to see where it kind of wraps up. So about here is actually where I want it to stop flipping through colors. So I'm going to select all these and bring them back to about there instead. And if I go through real quick, you can see it's going through the thing and then boom, 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 which is pretty cool. I'll render this out for you and I'll, I'll be back when it's done. All right. One thing I just realized I messed up on is you can see it changes colors and everything, but it goes back from here. It's going, it's closing, and then it drops back. And that's because I moved all these layers forward, and I didn't think about the continuity. So I am just going to move those back to where they were, Command-Z, and keep it going. And uh, 
if it wasn't a tutorial, I'd probably fix it so that these started like back here or ended back here. But for tutorial's sake, I'm just gonna keep moving and show you the final touches on this uh, because you guys should be able to understand the general idea. All right, so we wanna go ahead now and finish it off. So we're gonna do uh, composition new and final. And uh, depending on uh, the length you did some of these things, you might have to bump up the duration uh, so the text kind of sits there for a little bit at the end. So I'm actually going to bump this up to 12 and click OK. And now we want to switch over to project and add all our angles in. And I'm going to flip it around so one's at the bottom and three's at the top. And let's get this sorted out. So I'm going to hide angle two and three and start with one. So it's going to start from black. And actually, we want it to start probably right here, start it right away. So I'm going to bring that forward to that point and then bring it back. So that's the start. And it's going to start and it's going to go in probably about right here. I'm going to want it to switch over to angle two. So I'm going to bring that down and then show angle two. And angle two, I want to start from maybe right here. So I'm going to bring that over to about there. And then it's going to go through. And maybe right here is where I want it to end. So I'll drag the end point to there. And then finally, we want angle three. And basically, we can just put angle three at the beginning of that, or at the end of angle two. And so it should just come over and like that. Perfect. And you can see uh, it ends like right here. So there's like a second. If I had this at 10 seconds, it'd be a second of the text chilling there. So I just added two seconds so it chills there a little longer. But obviously, that can you can do different things. Um, finally, uh, other things I want to do is add. Oh, actually, I'm right here. Add this floating uh, particles stock which I'll have a download for you guys in the description. And I'm going to add it on the very top layer. And it's, I believe, 720. So uh, you have to actually increase the size a little bit. And then we want to set the mode to uh, lighten. And then transform opacity to about 30. So if we play that, there's just a little more stuff going on here. So it's not completely black. Um, although you can keep it black if you want. <clears throat> and then the final thing I, I did was just add a little bit of curves. So I went layer, new, adjustment layer, effect, color correction. And you can do a lot more with the color correction. I just kept it simple because it's a pretty simple intro. Um, where is curves? There's curves. And I just did a little bit at the bottom and then bring it a little bit over the top. And I kind of I liked how that looked. So let me render this out for you guys as the final version of the intro. All right, so the intro is done. There's some problems with it. Like that, the second angle is a little too quick of a cut, and it's when it's like really speeding up. So I might want to change that up a little bit. But that's essentially how to create the intro. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please drop a like. Like I said earlier, 100 likes, and I will put the file in the description for you guys to download and use. And you can basically edit it yourself, um, the text, and you have it ready to go. Uh, but yeah, subscribe for more tutorials, guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Quezzy, uh, for designs and things that I'm tweeting about. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.